Minister of Justice, uh, Michael Spratt, a lawyer, uh, testified to this before this committee that in, Bill C-45 believes say in TACTA. they have not violated any law, <laughs> not just American law. Well, not yet. Uh, leaves intact the criminalization of cannabis in many circumstances that will harm vulnerable Canadians. I want to quote from his testimony. An adult who possesses 30 grams of marijuana in public is a criminal. A youth who possesses more than five grams of marijuana is a criminal. An 18-year-old who passes a joint to their 17-year-old friend is a criminal. An adult who grows five marijuana plants is a criminal. An adult who lets his one meter tall marijuana plant grow an extra centimeter is a criminal. This continued criminalization is inconsistent with a rational and evidence-based criminal justice policy and will only serve to reduce some of the positive impacts of this bill. The asymmetrical criminalization of marijuana will only serve to perpetuate the disproportionate enforcement of laws on the young, the marginalized and racialized members of our society. Minister, you know that Indigenous, racialized and marginalized people are disproportionately represented in the criminal justice system and are disproportionately harmed by a criminal approach to drug laws. By maintaining a criminalized approach to cannabis, C45 will perpetuate this discriminatory impact. Why have you done so? Well, first of all, um, I, I mean, we are proceeding on a comprehensive review of the criminal justice system, targeting specifically uh, to uh, reduce the overrepresentation of Indigenous and marginalized individuals in the criminal justice system. What we've done with the proposed Cannabis Act and Bill C-45, as I said earlier in my comments, is to put a diversity of sanctions within the Act, from ticketing to uh, the more serious uh, criminal uh, prosecution that could arise. So there is an opportunity uh, to um, proceed by way of ticketing for uh, many of the offenses that you've mentioned between 30 and 50 grams of possession for an adult. Uh, for um, youth, there's the opportunity, well, you go through the Criminal Justice Act, but there's also the opportunity to uh, um, uh, proceed uh, in other manners that law enforcement officers The question, can Minister, though, with respect is, do, do you not agree that this act will continue to have a disproportionate effect on racialized and indigenous people? The purpose of, of this act, as you've quite rightly pointed out, is in Section uh, 7, and uh, the purpose is to ensure that we legalize, strictly regulate, to keep cannabis out of the hands of young people and the proceeds out okay. of the hands of criminals. Uh, we have an obligation, and I'm endeavoring to work extremely hard uh, in the broader criminal justice system review to address the overrepresentation of Indigenous peoples and marginalized individuals, which is um, which has resulted uh, from many factors. Okay. Uh